Chapter 2, The Recording Process, Part 4. During this presentation, we will learn more about the ledger and how to post to ledger. Open your books to page 36, section 2.10, The Ledger. What is a ledger? Every account has a ledger. It's a place where you can track all the changes that are taking place for the account. Let's say cash, or equipment, or account payable. Every account of these has a ledger. In this ledger, we will keep track of the movement of this account and we will get the balance of this account at the end. What is a general ledger? A general ledger is a place where we will find all the ledgers of all assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. So as you see in this slide, you can see that we have a ledger for cash, ledger for supplies, ledger for land, ledger for equipment, ledger for notes payable, ledger for owner's drawings, etc., etc. Let's take an example of one of these accounts. In this slide, you can see the ledger for cash. As you can see, at the top we have the title. We have a column for date. We have a column for explanation if we need to add any instruction. We have a column for reference that we will ignore for the time being. We have a column for debit. We have a column for credit. And we have the balance. So when I look at the ledger, I can tell that on January 30, on June 30, my balance is $9,450 because I checked my ledger. How can we create a ledger? To create a ledger, we need first to post to ledger. But before we can post to ledger, we need to finish journalizing. Once we finish journalizing, we can post to ledger. Let's take the example in the slide in front of us. We have a journal entry, debit cash, credit owner's capital. We have to post it into our ledger. First, we have to bring the ledgers, cash ledger and owner's capital ledger. And we will put the cash in the cash ledger and the owner's capital in the owner's capital ledger. But first, we need to identify the balance of every account. So cash is a debit account or a credit account. Owner's capital is a debit account or a credit account. Cash is an asset, so it's a debit account. They increase with debit and decrease with credit. So I will add a plus under debit, minus under credit, and my opening balance is zero since no one else said anything about the opening balance. As for the owner's capital, it's a credit account. They increase with credit and decrease with debit. And my opening balance is also zero. Now I can start posting. I have debit cash for $15,000. So first I put the date and then I add 15,000 under debit. Then I add $15,000 to my opening balance, which is zero. And I get a new balance for $15,000. Now the owner's capital. Again, I start with the date. Then I add $15,000 to the credit side because it was in the credit and the journal entry. And now I do 15,000 plus zero, and I'll get $15,000. Now let's practice. In this slide, we take the example we already started in chapter two, part one. We have the journal entries, and now we need to post the cash account for some company to ledger. So let's begin. Before we start, we need to prepare our ledger. We are working on cash. We need to identify whether cash is a debit account or a credit account. Cash is an asset, so they have a debit balance. So they increase with debit and decrease with credit. And since no one said there was an opening balance, we added zero to the opening balance. Now we will start. In my journal entry, I have debit cash and credit owner's capital. Since I'm just posting to cash, all I care about is cash. So I have in this journal entry, debit cash. So I have to post it into my ledger. First, I will start by putting the date. 
Then I will add $25,000 to my debit. And now I will add the $25,000 to the opening balance, which is zero. And I will get $25,000 as a new balance for cash. The second journal entry is debit office equipment credit account payable. Since I'm posting to cash, I'm interested only in cash. So if my journal entry does not have cash, I will disregard it. Same as here. We don't have cash neither in our debit nor in my credit. So effectively, I have nothing to post for cash. Third transaction. On September 3, I have debit a cash, credit service revenue. I have cash in my debit. So I start with putting the date, September 3. I will add $8,000 to the debit side. And now I will add the $8,000 to the $25,000 and I will get the new balance, which is $33,000. The fourth transaction, I have debit rent expense and credit cash. I have cash in my credit side, so I need to post it. I start again with the date, and then I will post 850 to the credit side, and now I will deduct the 850 from my previous balance. Why? Because anything on the credit side should be deducted. So minus equal the new balance 32,150. The last transaction, I have debit owner's drawings and credit cash. I have cash on the credit side, so I have to post it. I start with putting the date and then I'll add 1,000 to the credit side and since I added it to the credit side, I have to deduct it from the previous balance. So I will do 32,150 minus 1,000. I will get the new balance, which is $31,150. And this is my ledger. This is how it would look like. So anyone can see that the current balance at September 5 was $31,150.